Right, that's gonna be some of the last times we get uh, shots of my baby. Oh, look, there's some schmutz there. So one last look. When the lorry driver rammed it into the side of the pavement, he's damaged the front wheel on the right side, the driver's side, so basically it won't drive and turn properly. And he's bent it in as well, if you can see all that. He's totally mucked up the wheel. And then we come around to this side, and that's where I had all this fun, and he's still gotten away with it, that motherfucker. Unbelievable. Three weeks, they wouldn't give me a fucking answer. So I'm scrapping the car tomorrow, which is very sad. Oh, baby. Never gonna see you again after tomorrow. Just to show a little video of what happened. So my car was parked, double yellow right there. And then the ice and lorry came in, basically dragged it along the street, and then shoved it into the pavement there. So basically both the wheels are now kaput, and the axles probably as well. I don't know if there's more damage, because it has to be investigated. One last uh, selfie shot of me and my, my baby of five years. Uh, she's got me around the place. She was in trouble a few times, they needed some fixing, but we got her there in the end. And now she's going to the scrap yard to die with all the other cars because the people responsible got away with it. Sound familiar? Like the last two, three years? Oh baby, I'm gonna miss you. Maybe I'll do another video tomorrow morning. Oh. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. It's finally happening after five years of having a glorious car, and there it goes. Let's see if it drives. Is it gonna drive? Let's see how it goes. Oh, it's still going, still going. Oh, still going, 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 going. Oh, oh. Blow it to the right, to the right, to the right. Oh. Oh. She's screeching, but she still goes for one last time. Oh, look at that. Well, that seemed all right, that left zone, but it's definitely a bit screechy. Oh, oh baby. Oh, this is it now. Oh. <laughs> last look, ladies and gentlemen, last look at my car being towed forever. Never coming back. My Honda Civic. Oh, I love this car, man. This car was a part of my life for five years, got me all over the shop. And now look. Now she's going away. Oh. I said, you motherfuckers, you better pay up. You fucked me up. You fucked up my life, Iceland. So this is the finale. Very sad day. Honda Civic is going away. <laughs> and the criminal responsible, where is he? He's still driving around. He's still causing damage. He's still getting away with a hit and run felony. He's still protected by the people that are supposed to be protecting us. Now, I usually say this is all about the government, but in the case, this is a corporation. This is Iceland motherfucking corporation, who is a pussy ass corporation compared to American global corporations. However, in England and London and Stoke Newington High Street in particular, it's big business, yeah? So big business means they can pay parking fines, they can do whatever they want, they can take us parking spots, they can destroy our vehicles uh, parked on my road that I pay 120 pounds for. Do they pay for residence permit? No. What do they pay for? Nothing. Do they uh, do corrupt things and scandals and scams? Of course they do, because they are the government. <laughs> the Iceland government. Um, screw them all. Ladies and gentlemen, I am destroyed this morning. I've even had COVID the last few days because all the stress finally piled up. Three weeks of hell, I stopped calling. I've given up because I know the insurance companies are all frauds, all right? Don't trust them. They are all crooks. They're all criminals. They just take your money and they pocket it. They don't even do anything. They don't even do their jobs. The lady that was responsible for this case, man, I tried for three weeks to speak to her personally. She just ignored my calls. She didn't respond to my emails because she didn't like my attitude. It's like, oh, sorry, the Iceland has destroyed my life. Sorry, the Iceland has fucking ruined my career and destroyed my bank. Oh, thank you, Iceland. Oh, wow, you're so amazing. I even stopped shopping there because then. All right. Anyway, I'm going to go um, relax because uh, this is getting my blood pressure all high. Uh, but Lars Gwakin signing out. Hence, very sad day, very sad morning. Yeah, I had to scrap my car because I've had no income the last month. I've had no uh, reparations, no claims coming through. Everybody just dropped it like it was like pancakes, you know? 
Okay, anyway, that's it. I'm gonna go chill and hopefully I'll get some money back because the real people that should be paid didn't pay me shit. They haven't paid squat because what? They're fucking corrupt bastards, man. Three weeks to a month my car has been sitting here. Undrivable, destroyed. And no one gives a toss. Yeah, great. Thanks, Justice. Thanks, Law. You don't work. You're full of shit. All right.